If you want to see dramatic sports stories, you should definitely watch our picks for the best basketball movies. Hey, man, give me my money, man. Hey, 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 hey. It's money, brother. There's a man with integrity. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Space Jam. Michael, do you know what time it is? It's 7.50, it's 7.50, it's 7.50, it's quarter past seven. Exactly, you've got a baseball game in five minutes. Space Jam is a live-action, animated, science fiction, sports comedy film directed by Joel Pitka and stars Michael Jordan. When an intergalactic alien villain steals your favorite cartoon characters for his evil theme park, there might be only one chance to save the world. Play a game of good old basketball. Or at least it might be a good game, because Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes will be captured when legend Michael Jordan won't help them in winning the game of their lives. That was a great stretch for the basket, too. You know, you really got some skills. You might be able to play any game. Thanks, Mike. I'll, I'll probably quote you on that. But I'm going to take this opportunity to retire from the game of basketball. No, come on. No. No, I'm going to retire right now, and that's all there is to it. Number 9. Above the Rim. What is this shit? He ain't on the team. He's right there on my original roster. He ain't even a fucking uniform. He is now. Above the Rim is a sports film directed by Jeff Polak and stars Dwayne Martin, Tupac Shakur, Leon Robinson, Marlon Wayans, and Wood Harris. Having a deeply rooted passion is a powerful feeling that leaves a lifelong impact, just as powerful as the knowledge that it all crashes down and leaves you in a black hole afterwards. When high school basketball player Dwayne is torn between the sport and his loyalty to his drug dealer, his sense of the right path is blurred by addiction. He ain't been playing! It doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fucking bullshit, man! You know this is bullshit! Well, that's stuck one more time. You and your team are out of here. Number 8. White Man Can't Jump. And you've been beat, well, not once, but twice by a slow, white, geeky chunk. <laughs> white Men Can't Jump is a 1992 sports comedy drama film written and directed by Ron Shelton and stars Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. Offering a refreshing comedic take on the sports genre, White Men Can't Jump follows a charismatic trio of leads on their way to fame and success. When two basketball hustlers of two different skin colors team up to double their chance of winning money on the street courts, and even in a basketball tournament, trouble is in sight. You guys look at me, you see the backwards hat, the uh, gray socks, the funky outfit, and you say, now this guy's a chump, am I right? No, a fucking geek. A, a fucking like. geek. geek, exactly, like all right? Geek. But what you don't realize is that it ain't easy. It is hard <laughs> goddamn work making something this pretty look like a chump or a geek. Number seven. The Basketball Diaries. Sir, I the bathroom coach. Kim, you got a bladder like a woman. Let's go again. Here we go. Right behind him. Right behind him. The Basketball Diaries is a biographical crime drama film directed by Scott Calvert and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Bruno Kirby, Lorraine Bracco, Michael Imperioli, and Mark Wahlberg. Brought to extraordinary life by its young acting legend, The Basketball Diaries is the tragic story of basketball-loving student Jim, who is pressured by a wicked coach and a concerned mother. With the help of a heroin addiction, Jim forgets the court entirely and finds himself prostituting to get drugs. There is only one help, a good friend. Just let me do it. Look out of my face. Take it easy, Jim. You can't blame me for trying I made a mistake, all right. Let's just pretend it never happened. Things will go back to exactly how they were before, okay? Number six, Finding Forrester. Hey, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen. Hey, hey. Our season begins in one Whoa. week. If I see this kind of thing one more time, I'm gonna have you shooting fouls to see who runs today. Is that understood? Finding Forrester is a drama film directed by Gus Van Sant and stars Sean Connery, F. Murray Abraham, Anna Paquin, Buster Rhymes, and Rob Brown. Being good at two things, and even deeply loving those two, can be a burden when you have to decide on the right thing. We witness how an aspiring, talented college basketball student finds a mentor in a novelist who notices his ability to write excellent stories. 
But in time, he will have to find and choose the right path. That was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on a basketball court. And why do I know it was not good enough for either one of you? Shower up and get out of here. Number five, love and basketball. You asked me what was missing. What? From basketball. You woke me up to tell me that? It's not fun for me anymore because you're missing. Love and Basketball is a romantic sports drama film written and directed by Gina prince Bythewood and stars Sana Lathan and Omar Epps. Offering a thoughtful and intriguing look at aspiring young athletes, Love and Basketball is the story of two lifelong friends and later lovers who grew up in the small court. Idolizing figures in their lives who are born players and leaders, they are surprised that they might get a chance to achieve stardom, but it seems to tear their love apart. I'll play you. What? One game, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> For what? Your heart. <laughs> you out of your mind. So what, you gonna bitch up? Huh. Number four. Glory Road. You stuck out there tonight. Squeaky could've played better D than you did. You shit? Are you kidding me? Glory Road is a sports drama film directed by James Gartner and stars Josh Luca, Derek Luke, and John Voight. Sports are about embracing yourself and becoming the best version of yourself, and you must be given the opportunity. This is the mission for the new coach of the 1966 Texas Miners, who goes for quality over race. Soon the team is led by talented black players who face racism and hate despite winning all the games. Maybe you thought what used to be an undefeated record meant something. Maybe you thought we could just waltz our way into damn tournament. Maybe these crackers is getting to us. Why are you looking at me, Bobby Joe? You a cracker, ain't you? Coach, the more we win, the harder it is for us out there. Number three. Rebound, the legend of Earl, the goat, Manigault. You want the ball? Give me the ball! Go get it! You country ass nigga, man, you ain't no shit about basketball! Rebound is a biographical sports drama film directed by Eric Lasaye and stars John Cheadle, James Earl Jones, Michael Beach, and Forrest Whitaker. A story of rising after being at your lowest and finding the courage to stand up for what's right. Rebound is the dramatization of basketball legend Earl the Goat Manigault, who, after a drastic drug career, cleans up his past and devotes his life to turning kids away from the streets. And basketball is his tool. I'll have no more of that, you understand? No more what? <laughs> that schoolyard nigga hot dogging. Hmm? All right, green ball. I want a minimum four passes every time down the court. Number two. Coach Carter. See you tomorrow. I'll do push ups for him. Coach Carter is a 2005 sports drama film based on the true story of a unique basketball coach. It is directed by Thomas Carter and stars Samuel L. Jackson, Rob Brown, and Channing Tatum. In 1999, after returning to his school in Richmond, California, Ken Carter puts in an effort to build a strong basketball team. By establishing tough rules and academic regulations, he paves the way for his team to put succeed on the court. Carter eventually finds that he has touched them more deeply than he could have ever anticipated. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. This is by far the worst team that has ever sat in this locker room. You son of a bitches! You don't deserve a locker room! You don't deserve a locker room the way you're playing here! You should be playing without uniforms! You should be playing in with jock straps! Quickly ball back to him. Let's go! Let's go! Easy. Easy. Doing, pop? Man to man or zone? Bund it up, Walt. Man to man. Okay, man to man. Let's do it. Second. One, two, three. Lions! CD! Ah! 
Number one, Hoosiers. Hell, our first game's less than two weeks away. Well, first of all, let's be real friendly here, okay? My name is Norm. Secondly, your coaching days are over. Hoosiers is a 1986 sports film directed by David Ann Spa and stars Gene Hackman, Barbara Hershey, and Dennis Hopper. While not redefining the sports genre, this heartfelt basketball story is so hard to resist because it is crafted with deep passion. Often called the best sports movie of all time, we follow a team's long attempt to win the championship. Along the way, the edge-of-your-seat suspense and directing will leave you in excitement. Any of you feel you don't want to be on a team, feel free to leave right now. Did you hear what I said? <clears throat> Me? Yes, you. Sure, I'm just curious to know when we start. We start when I say so. Okay, would you kind of let me know, because I'm kind of getting tired of standing. out of here, right now. You're kicking me out? Yes, don't come back until you learn to keep your mouth shut and listen. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.